Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley, nice to meet you. Today we're gonna be slaying this gorgeous bob. She's in a yaki texture and if you get a load of the hairline, I definitely think I did my thing and I slayed her. So for starters, this wig came from a company by the name of Wig Encounters. I've definitely worked with this company before. They included a rat tail comb, some wig caps, and this cute little pouch. Inside the pouch was a set or a pair or a, do you call it a pair of tweezers or is it just tweezers? And this cute little clip here, I thought this was so cute and dainty. This is the wig I had on before and it's actually a glueless install so I didn't have to um, like unglue it or anything like that. But of course you would want to go in and clean up the hairline with alcohol. This is going to help to make sure that there is no glue, no oil, no residue from your previous install. This is the inside of the cap and as you guys can see like it looks like whoever tweezed this tweezed this for the gods like they did an amazing job when it came to pre-plugging the hairline for you it definitely looks like it was done by hand and not like a machine it's done literally to perfection now as far as the remainder of the wig as i said before this is a bob but you definitely will have to go ahead and style it yourself it doesn't come like you can literally just cut off the lace and go like you definitely have to put a little bit of effort into styling the bob so I went ahead and pulled the hair completely back away from the hairline and I'm gonna install it very similar to way to the way celebrities install their wigs or their clients wigs which is to pretty much go ahead and apply it or apply your adhesive before you cut off the excess lace now if you follow my channel then you know I am very accustomed to cutting the lace first and that is just what I'm comfortable with so I find that I get a more clean install that way just because I'm more comfortable that way but I kind of want to you know switch up my technique now you guys can see I started to go ahead and apply the adhesive I kind of wanted to wanted it to start getting tacky and while that went ahead and started to dry down I customized the lace around the ear to make sure it fits perfectly now I did apply more adhesive along the entire hairline and I'm going in with the blow dryer and I'm pretty much just gonna go ahead and make sure that goes ahead and dries down now I did use this blow dryer on a cool setting but if you really look closely I feel like whenever I use a blow dryer I don't know what it is but I always get a little bit of residue now it's literally an easy cleanup all you need is rubbing alcohol but just make sure that you don't get the alcohol on the actual lace because it will help it to lift Now I did go ahead and apply the scarf. I literally left it on for all of two or three minutes. I kind of just wanted to show you that as an option. As I said before, whenever I use a blow dryer, I find that I get a little bit of residue. Um, a natural way to do it is to just add the scarf or you can do both methods or you can just add the scarf and blow dry on top of it, which I've definitely done before. Nonetheless, we are pretty much ready to go ahead and cut off the lace. I am using an eyebrow razor and I find that this gives the best, most flawless, undetectable finish. Now you guys can see, now this is my biggest issue with installing by putting the um, adhesive on top of the lace. You see how along the entire front of the hairline, it looks like it's coming up. I feel like there have been a few times when I've been able to install this way and I didn't even get that at all. But majority of the time I get this. The trade off is that my sideburns will melt down super nice and the way I normally apply my wig by cutting the lace off first, I always find that I have issues with the lace, um, you know, laying down around the sideburns. So for that reason, I definitely think it's worth it to do it this way. I just have to go in and perfect it. Now take your rat tail comb, the very silvery inside and kind of apply or spread a little bit of your got to be glue on it and kind of just touch up these areas where it looks like it's lifting here i use my finger i do not recommend using your finger but it definitely did um work for me i've tried this way a few times as you guys can see that 
uh, lace kind of melts down seamlessly super easy by doing it this way whereas if you use a rat tail comb it is going to take a little bit longer and a little bit more effort now i'm just going behind the hairline and i'm just brushing up what they've already selected and cut down as baby hair and i'm just kind of using the comb to like scratch out or comb out any kind of comb like combiness what is combiness any kind of crunchiness or like that white residue and also just making sure that like if i got any um guys be glue spray on the hair kind of just combing that out and that definitely did awesome now because this is pre-plugged you can definitely go in and do baby hair i kind of wanted to do like the baby hair edges situation where i kind of didn't want to like cut down the baby hair shorter or separate it i just kind of wanted to use my wax and just swoops now these swoops are not everyone's taste and i definitely um will get that if it's not your taste if it's not again this is, is the perfect wig to do no baby hair at all you just want to use the wax to brush the hair all back um or you can actually do baby hair and like trim it down swoop it with the mousse and all that um i find that this look definitely isn't something you would wear like to like um a wedding or something like that but it's definitely fun like i enjoy when doing the swoops let me know if you like them or not you can also see how well the baby hair lays down again if you follow my videos you know the sideburns um I sometimes trouble have a trouble with that so installing and doing the method i use today definitely 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 is the best way to make sure that you get the ear to ear full install without having to neglect the sideburns Now oftentimes you guys see that I use like a wig head and I'll go in and take my time and go ahead and flat iron the hair. I feel like this one isn't really a heavy density where you have to go in like layer by layer. I was able to literally just use um, my flat iron and do a couple heat passes on all sections of the hair. Kind of bumping it at the end. Not too much because you don't really want it to be too 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 tight of a bump. But pretty much using um, you know the flat iron to just go in. As you guys seen I did use a heat protector it and I do find that my styles do come out a lot better when I use a heat protectant and of course it does actually protect the hair from being burnt and that's pretty much it so I decided to go with a feather bang like I loved this install at this point but if you kind of look at the ends and the front they do need to be trimmed which you see I will do in just a moment and it's not necessarily because the hair is shabby but more so because it's a side part if you put the same wig in a center part it'll look a lot more full so there was a lot of body along the side part so I kind of just went in with my hand um, my hot comb and my shaper spray and just kind of did a quick job to kind of flatten it out a little bit I definitely wanted it to still have body because I am going to do a feather but the root was just a little bit too bouncy too voluminous and it wasn't giving me the look that I wanted so you guys can see like I just kind of went in real quick I didn't really you know take my time and separate and part and you know know do the most accurate job but like I said I didn't want it to be too flat because I still am going to do a feather I just wanted it to lay down a little bit
now you guys can see this is looking pretty awesome i feel like i love the way the hairline looks i love the way the sideburns look i have a simple press going on and i love everything but i kind of just feel like it needs a little bit of something so i kind of lightly just trim the ends on this one to make the bang look a lot more full a lot of the times if the ends are not full it makes it look um a little bit less healthy um, and again not as full as when you give it a nice good cut so I didn't want to cut all the way over but you definitely can I just really wanted to make sure that bang looked on point and it definitely worked so magic viola voila I went ahead and put on some makeup in my face and I added a little bit of a feather I've done this feather bang with you guys before so I'll leave that tutorial linked in the description box and I really didn't do too much I just literally did one heat pass on two sections of that bang area and I pretty much like the way it came out because again I didn't want it to um you know like too feathery or too curly I just kind of wanted to touch it up and make it complement this look don't those sideburns look amazing hashtag goals even goals for myself I'm very impressed with the way this one came out so leave me a like hit the like button if you like the way this one came out again if you don't want the feather bang you could have definitely just you know made it like super blunt and um flat along that bang area or you could have switched the part and did a center part you're gonna see at the end that I did end up doing a half up half down just because you know was my style for the moment I did use my shapers plus spray um, as a holding spray and it definitely held that bang it kind of gave it a little bit of a hold so it literally stayed in place right there if you're doing feather bangs I recommend um, putting a little bit of holding spray again because it's gonna stay like that all day not literally move or you know fall out of place or anything like that and this is what it looks like when I went ahead and just brushed all the hair back and I just quickly put it into a half up half down situation I didn't really you know pay too much attention to the parting or making sure that it was tight because it's such an amazing install and the hairline looks so beautiful and as you guys can see it came out flawless when it was all said and done even though I was having trouble with the install um, and cutting the lace last in the beginning once I went ahead and styled it and you know did everything to it everything worked out perfect I did not tweeze out the hairline any at all myself everything was done by this company so make sure you check them out link to this wig is in the description box as well as a list of everything I used with links thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share this video with your friends don't forget to hit that post notification so you never miss a video from me again and as always I'll see you guys in the next one smooches